Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Today we're going to have a look at this tank, the TS-60, currently in the store. So what happens when a Chrysler K, that is a heavy tank, has a bit of a little fling with a TS-5, that is a Tier 8 TD. Well, you get this, the TS-60, the new American Tier 8 tank destroyer. First off, what on earth does that TS stand for? Well, most US tanks either are called T for tank or M for model. But this one is called a TS. Well, that just means top secret. Nothing more than that. As a TD, this one is relatively mobile. It does have a rear mounted turret, however, making it rather tricky to use in those haul down situations because it actually lacks any meaningful gun depression with only 7%. Armour wise, it has a pretty solid turret, but the hull is pretty weak and it's easily penned. Now the thing is, this one does look like a Chrysler K, but the Chrysler K is a heavy tank, whereas this one is a TD. And to be honest with you, you could be forgiven in forgetting that this one is actually a TD and not a heavy. And that can, and most likely will, confuse quite a few players out there, gameplay wise. So what is there to actually like about this tank? Well, it has a pretty nice reload in just over eight seconds, which is pretty nice. And it has rather lovely alpha damage to boot. Aside from that, the tank is not exactly noob friendly, especially if you play it aggressively. And it does require some skill to get the most out of it. All that being said, how should this one be played? Well, curiously enough, the best way to describe the playstyle is that of a Chrysler K, which is a heavy tank, because they are very similar in a lot of respects, and they have very similar playstyles and profiles. Now, if you're able to keep that lower hull protected and manage to get that gun onto a target, you will certainly have some fun in this one. This is not the kind of tank destroyer that likes to sit at the back of the bus. Well, not from what I can tell, but I did play this one rather aggressively, like I do with most tank reviews, in order to get the best understanding of the tank and how it plays. The speed isn't there, but then again, it's a TD, so it very rarely pushes 20 kilometers an hour. But boy, the gun is nice, and that reload will certainly take a few by surprise. The gun is accurate, the pen is nice, and the damage is a dream for this tier. So how can you get your paws on this puppy? Well, this one is coming into the game in crates. <laughs> now, as always, when it comes to crates, I can only advise that you should only consider crates if you have the funding, because no doubt it will cost you quite a lot, especially if you're not lucky enough to get this one straight off the bat and have to use the charms, because that will cost you a pretty packet. I'm not here to tell you how to spend your hard earned cash, but I would warn you that with crates you are literally taking pot luck, especially when this one only has a 5% drop chance. So be warned. But let's have a look in a bit more detail at this tank because as I said, it's a completely different type of tank. It looks like a Chrysler K, it plays like a Chrysler K, but this one is a tank destroyer. And like I said earlier, a lot of people can be forgiven for forgetting that because its playstyle really isn't, well, TD-ish. This one you can play aggressively. It's not a tank that really likes to sit at the back, like I said, it likes to be closer to that front line, sometimes even on that front line. Think about this tank that you need to remember, however, is that gun, that turret, sorry, will not turn the 4360, it just won't do it because somebody's lumped a big bulldozer blade at the back and raised it up, as you can see there. So this one is a little bit different in that respect. It will only turn sort of three quarters, three quarters, yeah, let's say three quarters of the way around. It won't go all the way around. You certainly can't get it over the back deck. So you have to remember that. That's not too traumatic because it is a TD after all. And like most TDs, the gun is meant to be pointing at the enemy forwards, not backwards. If you're doing anything backwards, then 9 times out of 10, you're doing something wrong. It's as simple as that. 
So you have to remember that the gun doesn't, the turret won't go all the way round. Personally, I actually think this is not a bad tank for a TD. Um, if it was a heavy, it would be terrible, but it's not a heavy, it's a TD. And um, with that, with a TD that plays like a heavy, looks like a heavy, and sort of performs like a heavy, you can have a lot more fun in this type of tank. It really is a similar playstyle to that Chrysler K, which is a very good heavy tank. Admittedly, it doesn't have the same armor profile on its hull, but it has pretty decent armor on that turret. It has a pretty decent reload, as I said, just over eight seconds in real terms, and it has pretty decent alpha damage. That's why I didn't take the shot on the uh, on the Steyr there, because there's no point, he's only down to next to no hit points. Now, admittedly, I'm not setting the world on fire in any of the games I'm showing you here. That's not the idea of these reviews. The idea of these reviews is to give you an understanding of the tank. And my understanding of this tank is this. It's an aggressive playstyle TV. You need to play it more like a heavy um to an extent. Frontline, it will, it will not give you any problems, but if you're on flat ground and your hull is sort of open, you'll get a lot of pain. Whereas if you're in that sort of second line defense front line just behind the big lumbering heavies, you're going to have a lot more fun in it. Believe me, don't sit at the back. That is just not playing the tank to this strength. Is it worth the amount of money? Is it worth the hassle going into crates? Well, I don't think so, but that's just me. Um, I will personally wait for this one to come out uh, for gold or even for cash rather than try my luck with the crates. I don't need this tank at this moment in time. I've got the TS5 or I've even got the T28 to play as a TD in tier eight. So I've basically got all the bases covered in tier eight as it is at the moment in any event. I can afford to wait this one out. Yes, it will be a nice addition to my garage, a TD that plays like a heavy, but do I really want to risk it at this moment in time? Well, no, I don't is the honest answer. But that's not to say that if you do risk it, you're going to get a sort of mediocre Muppety tank because you're not. You are going to get an interesting TD. Now, personally, this is a lesser tank to that of the Chrysler K. Although, as I keep saying, that Chrysler is a heavy, but this is much better than the TS5. Now, the thing is, whilst the playstyle is that, wow, it's kind of similar to the Chrysler, why would you take this one over the Chrysler in real terms? Over then, it's a TD, not a heavy. Okay, the Alpha is better, but the Chrysler has a lot more going for it than this one, especially with its ability to turn its turret 360 degrees, a plus in most tanks, not gonna lie. This one is rather nice at the end of the day. It plays like a Chrysler with a gun like a TS5. The tank itself is neither broken or OP, it's just balanced. And as I keep saying, the hardest part about this tank is remembering that it's not a heavy. It is actually a TD. And if you forget that, then it's not gonna to be too much of a trauma because it's not your stereotypical sitting at the back TV in any event, because it likes being up there on the front line. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been the new TS60. An interesting tank, to be fair. Not the best, but certainly not the worst. And I just wish it wasn't in crates. Interesting your comments on this one, so let us know what you think. And until the next time, guys, remember, it's only a game. So stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.